Independent testing is a well-established way of measuring new designs against the competition. At Intertech's ETL Sempco Labs in Milton Keynes, they test a wide range of commercial and consumer products. They use both scientific testing and market research methods. It's important that scientific tests are consistent and give repeatable results. When we're devising test methods to test consumer products, we want to try and replicate the way a consumer uses a product. So that might involve designing rigs to replicate that situation. Um, examples are things like for suitcases where we devised a test rig so we're testing the durability. Um, and other examples where we're testing backpacks and rucksacks, we have a, a test rig which replicates somebody running or walking along. For the dishwasher testing we have to import spinach from Germany and have to specify what eggs we're using and use particular porridge. Um, again this is to ensure that all the results are consistent and repeatable. The lab contains controlled environment rooms where appliances can be tested under specific sets of conditions. Variables like temperature, water flow and humidity can be precisely controlled. Scientific research is good for testing performance, but the lab also specialises in testing consumer experience and perception of products. To carry out this qualitative research, the lab has built up panels of users. The largest consists of a thousand people who may be asked to carry out tests at home or in the lab. Our largest panel are everyday householders that come in and use the products here, but we also have a particular panel um, with people with disabilities and poor sight. We recently did some work looking at um, a system for getting in and out of taxis for people with, with disabilities. So we can cover all types of users. But we also have them in for focus groups so we can discuss particular aspects. At the moment the key aspect is ease of use and whether they like a product. Um, but going forward we hope that that will include wider aspects. We've actually been talking to an organisation recently to talk about having a panel of users in to talk about alternative technologies for domestic households and how that, that would be received. So it's certainly becoming a more important issue to consider the wider aspects. In recent years, sustainability has emerged as an aspect of the work carried out by independent companies like Intertech. Sustainability is becoming a more important aspect, um, whether that be energy efficiency or the other aspects of waste and nasty components in, in products. As consumers become more educated, they will want to know about more of these issues. And also some of our clients, manufacturers and retailers, it's becoming more important as well to show that they've got a sustainability agenda. Intertech is involved in the government-funded UK Market Transformation Programme. The aim is to reduce the use of energy and resources associated with domestic appliances and commercial products. When we're carrying out the Market Transformation Programme, we have to consider which appliances are the most efficient and identifying best practice. For things like domestic appliances, we can use the energy label standards to rank the products. Intertech work with stakeholders, manufacturers and retailers, consulting with them and advising on how to reduce energy and materials use. But they also play a role in agenda setting, working with industry on codes of conduct and voluntary agreements to eliminate poor performance products. And by identifying the best technologies we can try and promote those and encourage their use more. So underlying all the information are, is reliable information and, and product data. That is then used for modelling as well, um, so we, we use that to generate models to show what the energy consumption is associated with those products now and in the future. And that in that way we can set targets and see where we want to be in the future as well.